once you've gotten really good at being able to play the five pentatonic positions on your guitar, connecting them all together. And I'm using A minor pentatonic as my example. So I've got my first position, I can move from my first into my second, move into my third, my fourth. What I want you to start becoming aware of is the fact that you've really got a couple of different movement ideas that you can use on the guitar that really turn into some great musical experiences. You've got vertical and horizontal movements, okay? Vertical movements are things that you're probably all already used to, which is moving up the guitar this way, up and down. And they're really great for creating patterns and things like that. Okay, and then you move into the second position. And you move around that position, whatever it might be, okay? The problem with that for me a lot of times is when people do that, it sounds like they're just, they're moving in blocks, right? They'll play the first position and then they'll move up into the second position and then they'll move back to the first position. But it just sounds really clunky because they're just constantly playing vertically. And they like have, they sometimes feel like they have to play so many notes or have to play the whole position or something like that. Or they play what I call with blinders on where they, they can only play this position um, as one thing, right? They can't play the second position when they're in the first position. But then if they move to the second position, then they can play that one, but they can't go back to the first position. So the trick is, is learning how to play more horizontally, okay, where you're moving a bit more across the guitar this way. And it really serves two purposes. The first, pur first purpose is that it gives you a bit more musical flexibility because you're doing things that you don't normally do. Okay? And the second thing is, if we look at it from an individual string standpoint, it's a little bit easier to create melodies because you're not so wrapped up in moving up and down and playing all these different licks and things like that. If I was playing just one string and I was doing something like this, I'm gonna be more apt to create some sort of functional melody that way than I am doing this. Now I'm not making fun of either one. We use both of them. I certainly use both of them as well. Um, but what I'm saying is if you wanna break out of doing the normal things that you do when you're in a position, you start trying to think about the fretboard moving in a more horizontal fashion, whether it's you know one string or two strings or something like that, it can really break things up and make things sound a little bit different. So you could be playing more in a vertical position, doing your thing, but then all of a sudden you break into... whatever it might be, right? And all of a sudden you start playing that way, or maybe you start creating a melody, right? So you're doing... And you're just playing a little bit, and then all of a sudden... And then you go back, see now I'm in that first position. And I drop back. There's a million things that you can do. And the point here isn't, you know, what licks you're gonna use and things like that. That's entirely up to you. The point is just to start looking at your fretboard from a little bit different perspective to try and get creative and break out of those kind of same old, same old things that happen to all of us when we play guitar. You start trying to look for something else, you know. Maybe we don't just have to play faster, maybe we can play slower, right? Maybe we can play more melodic. Maybe we can think about rhythm a little bit more, right? Or just a creative you know, a creative way of looking at the fretboard that's just different than the way we always see things. That's why for me, you know, the big thing with players when they're always stuck in like their first position, to be honest with you, the first position is awesome. But there's other positions on the fretboard that are just very, very good for creativity. You know, like when you play here, you're gonna find that as you explore those other positions more and more, um, you're gonna play in those positions a little different than you would just that first position all the time. Because you're so locked into doing the same thing, same licks, same movements, uh, when you're stuck in the same positions all the time. So start moving out of that first position and start using some of the other ones. And the other thing too is really start exploring the ideas 
of moving a bit more in a horizontal fashion and see what that gets you as well. Hi there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope that it helped you a little bit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and either like it, subscribe to the channel, share it, or comment on it. Okay, that's going to help us out enormously. Um, and then we can keep in contact with you when we have new material that comes out. And if you uh, enjoy the video, we've got some other videos over here that you can watch that might be able to help you on your guitar journey as well. And if you look up on the top there, you're going to see there's a little I up there. If you click on that, we are going to be giving you a free gift just to say thank you for watching the video. Um, and then if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can use the term at GuitarZoom and you can find us there. All right. So take care, keep practicing and have a great day.